Good evening and welcome to At Home for Heroes. It's basically just a huge and heartfelt thank you to everyone in the NHS and frontline workers from all classical musicians from Northern Ireland who come today from far and wide. And it's a particular pleasure for me as patron of Northern Ireland Opera to our young singers with us too. They are, after all, the future. Now we've got the priests, three of them, find themselves at the top of the charts. We've got a quartet from the Ulster Orchestra. We've got Barry Douglas, who won gold at the Tchaikovsky in Moscow. But as it is a very special occasion, it would not be anything remotely approaching that if it went for the man with the golden flute. So, standing by is Sir James Galway and his wife Jeannie. Hello, Sean, and thank you so much for that beautiful introduction. Nice to be working with you again. We're dedicating these little pieces to the National Health Service workers who are doing such a great job. The first one we're going to play is the Gossack Tamara, then Danny Boy, and we're going to finish up with Jeannie and myself playing the Rondo alla Turca from Mozart. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lady Jeannie Galway, and I'm so honored to play with you with my husband, Sir James, and our wonderful pianist, Dervla Brosnan, with, in one of our favorite pieces, Rondo alla Turca by Mozart. And this is for you, our heroes, our national health service workers, frontline workers. We so, so appreciate all that you're doing for us during this very difficult time. And it's arranged by my good friend, David Overton. Thank you. 
A little Turkish flavour of delight, courtesy of Mozart and Sir James and Lady Jeannie Galway. Well, from a man with a golden flute to a man who swept the boards of the Tchaikovsky competition in Moscow in 1986 and took the gold medal. Quite a prestigious thing to do. Barry Douglas founded the only All-Ireland Orchestra, Camerata Ireland, and a festival at Clandeboyne County Down. He still has a huge international set of engagements and he's here to perform for us. Hello, my name is Barry Douglas and I'm thrilled to be here to be a part of this musical expression of our appreciation to the health and care workers and frontline workers here in Northern Ireland. We applaud your expertise and your incredible courage to help keep us all very, very safe. Thank you very much from the bottom of my heart and from us all.
So that was Tchaikovsky from the Seasons, set of 12 pieces, and that was the month of December. Now I'd like to play a piece with a wonderful harpist from the Ulster Orchestra, Tanya. Uh, we're going to play uh, My Lag and Love, a uh, beautiful arrangement. I, it was first of all my arrangement, then Graham Stewart has kindly added this beautiful harp part. My Lag and Love. Thank you, Barry Douglas, and the harpist, Tanya Horton. Uh, My Lag and Love was arranged by Barry with a harp specially added for the occasion by Graham Stewart. Well, Tanya's brought her harp to the party, so, of course, I think we should ask her to play on her own. It is a celestial instrument, after all. Thank you, Sean, and a huge thank you to everybody working in the NHS and in the care sector for all your bravery and your hard work through this crisis and at all times.
Thank you, Tanya, and your heavenly harp. Now, our next trio is rather unlikely. They signed up for a very different sort of service, but they simply couldn't stop singing. Uh, they were talent spotted, and the result was a recording that sold three million copies. That was their debut recording. So a warm welcome to Father Martin, Father Eugene O'Hagan, and Father David DeLarge. They are the priests. Sean, very many thanks for your kind introduction to us, the priests. A big thanks to all our National Health Service carers, our frontline workers, and our chaplains. We are honoured to sing for you Ave Maria by Schubert, Lord of the Dance by Sidney Carter, and A Gaelic Blessing by John Rutter. Ooh. Mm -hmm. 
dance wherever you may be. I am the Lord of the dance, said he, and I lead you all wherever you may be, and I lead you all in the dance, said he. I danced in the moon and the stars and the sun. I came down from heaven and I danced on the earth. At Bethlehem I had my birth. Dance, dance, wherever you may be. I am the Lord of the dance, said he. And I lead you all wherever you may be. And I lead you all in the dance, said he. I dance for the sprite and the Pharisees. They wouldn't dance, they wouldn't follow me. I danced for the fishermen, James and John. They came with me, so the dance went on. Dance, dance, wherever you may be. I am the Lord of the dance, said he. And I lead you all, wherever you may be. And I lead you all in the dance, said he. I danced on a Friday when the world turned black. It's hard to dance with the devil on your back. They buried my body, they thought I was gone. But I am the dance and the dance goes on. Dance, dance, wherever you may be. I am the Lord of the dance, said he. And I lead you all, wherever you may be. And I lead you all in the dance, said he.
Thank you to the priests and to Ruth McGinley, their official accompanist, since um, 2010, for the last decade. Ruth won the piano final of the BBC Young Musician when she was just 16, and she has something very special for us now. Think rainbows. Thank you to the NHS and to all the frontline workers. I'm going to play the beautiful song that has become the theme for hope and for humanity at this time. Somewhere over the rainbow.
Thank you, Ruth. Well, as our musicians wholeheartedly support and salute the NHS and frontline workers, spare a thought for them, of course, because so many of them have no work. The concert halls are closed, theatres are closed, uh, the Ulster Orchestra's home at the Ulster Hall does not have an audience, or indeed the orchestra there to play. We'll meet some members of the orchestra shortly, who are doing something specially for us. But first, their marvellous uh, chief conductor, Daniele Rustioni, and his wife, Francesca Dego. They are both fantastic, and they are allowed to be together if they're married. Hi, everyone. Francesca and I miss being in Northern Ireland a lot, and of course, we hope everyone is staying safe. Our thoughts and prayers are with all the frontline workers, the NHS staff and carers, everyone who is doing their best to keep us all safe. Uh, we'd like to thank you with this beautiful music written by John Williams for the film Schindler's List. This is the theme and we hope you enjoy it. And uh, we hope to meet you when we will be back in Northern Ireland for some uh, music live. So enjoy.
Thank you, Francesca and Daniele. And I really hope to see you on the stage of the Ulster Hall <clears throat> before too long. It is, after all, one of the best acoustics in the world, really. Members of the Ulster Orchestra are with us now. Some of them are with a quartet, first of all, and then Chris Blake, the Airbus, joining them for a quintet. Music to start from Leroy Anderson. <laughs> Thank you. 
Chris Blake with the Oster Orchestra String Quartet. That's Thomas Cotchies, Michael Alexander, Philip Walton and uh, Charles Antoine Archambault. They'll be back with our young singers just at the end of the programme. Well, speaking of our young singers, they join us now. They're all alumni from Northern Ireland Opera. They've all done incredibly well and is part of the company's philosophy to invest in the future and they are very much the future. They've taken part in our annual Festival of Voice at Glen Arm. Um, so here they are, Don Burns, Ellen McQuinney, John Porter and Ben McAteer, who won the very first Festival of Voice that we had. Thanks very much, Sean. Well, on behalf of all the singers and our pianist David, we're delighted to be here representing Northern Ireland Opera in this virtual concert and to be able to play our part in paying tribute to all the NHS staff and frontline workers for their tireless efforts in battling COVID-19. From all of us, a huge thank you. Now shortly, Ellen and John will have you humming and swaying along with the wonderfully romantic Merry Widow Waltz by Franz Lehar. Then I'll be joined by Ellen, Dawn, David and a string quartet from the Ulster Orchestra for a performance of the beautiful and mellifluous Soave Si al Vento from Mozart's Cosi Fan Tutte. Before that, a couple of tunes you might be familiar with. From the Marriage of Figaro, it's the mischievous and militaristic aria Non Più Andrai. And then we're off for a walk down by the Sally Gardens. <laughs> Non più andrai farfalloni amoroso, non più giorno d'intorno girando, delle belle formando il riposo, un architetto ad un cielo d'amor. Delle belle formando il riposo, un architetto ad un cielo d'amor. Non più avrai questi bei pennacchini, quel cappello, Bello, leggero e gallante, quella piuma, quell'aria brillante, quel vermiglio donnesco color, quel vermiglio donnesco color, non ti avrai quei pennacchini, quel cappello, quella piuma, quell'aria brillante, non ti avrai far calore amoroso, notte e giorno d'intorno girando. Delle belle trovando il riposo, narcisetto ad un cielo d'amor. Delle belle trovando il riposo, narcisetto ad un cielo d'amor. Tra guerrieri da fermarco, gran stacchi stacchi stacchi, schioppo in spalla, sarà al fianco, voglio dritto, muso franco, un gran casco, un gran turbante. Poco contante, poco contante, poco contante. Ed invece del fandango, una marcia per il fango. Per montagni, per balloni, con le nevi i solioni, al concerto di tromboni, di bombarde, di pannoni, che le palle in tutti i tuoni, all'orecchio fantischiare. Non ti avrai quei pennacchini, non ti avrai quel cappello, non ti avrai quella chioma, non ti avrai quell'aria brillante, non ti avrai far pallone amoroso, notte e giorno ti torno girando, delle belle trovando il riposo.
our young singers from Northern Ireland Opera, the pianist David Quigley and the quartet from the Ulster Orchestra. And that arrangement of Suave Si El Vento from Mozart's Cosi Van Tutti, made specially for us by Paul Campbell. Suave Si El Vento, the girls seeing their lovers off on a long journey. May the wind be gentle, may the sea be calm, may the elements be kind. Simple things that we all wish for. And it brings our At Home for Heroes to an end with a renewed thanks to all of you who are doing so much to keep us literally alive in the NHS and frontline workers from all of us and from all our cast. Good night. <laughs>